It became a big hit in the novel. First off, it made the New York Times bestseller list, but the New Yorker bought first serial rights. And it's the only time that a Hunter S. Thompson appeared in a major piece in the New Yorker, and he was very proud about that. That's a section that the New Yorker is using. Is it? This week, yeah. Well, since you know the characters, and God knows we do, why don't you just take it from, uh, was it 15? Okay. I turned to watch the dancers, thinking that since I'd paid six dollars to get into this place, I might as well try to enjoy it. The dancing was getting wilder now. I looked and saw Chenault dancing with a small, spade-bearded man we had met earlier. He was a good dancer, and whatever step he was doing was pretty involved. <laughs> Chenault was holding her hands out like a hula charmer, a look of tense concentration on her face. Now and then she would spin, swirling her madras skirt around her like a fan. The crowd was moving back to make room for something, and I walked over to see what it was. They had made a big circle, and in the middle of it, Chenault and the small, spade-bearded man were doing the dance. Chenault had dropped her skirt and was dancing in her panties and her white, sleeveless blouse. Her partner had taken off his shirt, exposing his glistening black chest. Oh, God. He wore nothing but a pair of tight red tor Toreador pants. Both of them were barefoot. Now, as if in some kind of trance, Chenault began to unbutton her blouse. She popped the button slowly, like a practiced stripper, then flung the blouse aside and pranced there in nothing but her bra and panties. Now they were close together, and I saw the brute reach around Chenault and unhook the strap of her bra. He undid it quickly, expertly, and she seemed unaware that now she wore nothing but her thin, silk panties. The bra slid down her arms and fell to the floor. Her breasts bounced violently with the jerk and thrust of the dance. Full, pink-nippled balls of flesh suddenly cut loose from the cotton modesty of a New York bra. I watched, fascinated and terrified, the noise was an overpowering roar from two hundred wild throats. Chenault still wore that dazed, ecstatic expression as the man reached out and eased her panties over her hips and down to her knees. She let them drop silently on the floor, then stepped away, breaking into the dance again, moving against him, freezing there for a moment. Even the music paused, then dancing away, opening her eyes and flinging her hair from side to side. That's a pretty good scene. Mm. How would you characterize this novel? I've always thought that that Gatsby is the great American novel. Uh, yeah, that's how, that's how crazy I was. But when I started this, I intended this to be the great American novel. Yeah, I'll, I'll put this novel up against anything written. Mm. Uh, I still can't beat that goddamn Gatsby in terms of uh No one can beat pages. that goddamn Gatsby. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I think this is a great Puerto Rican novel, at least. Yeah, I think it's extremely good. Yeah, I think so.